Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Oh, or please. should we call it our channel? Well for now it's our channel. But it's our channel at the moment because we're doing farming videos again. Um, and today we are um, leading straw. So the, the balers have been here today um, and they've been baling the straw and Rob and his dad have been bringing it in, haven't you? Leading it, yeah. So we've just, uh, we're just in the tractor and then the trailer behind us that we're going to stack the straw onto and um, it's all for evening. It's beautiful isn't it? Uh, it's going to rain uh, tomorrow. Yeah supposedly in the afternoon but hopefully we'll miss it. Yeah we think that it might rain so that's why we're in a rush on this Sunday evening to get the straw in um, and we haven't managed to bale half of it. This, yeah there's about 20 acres that's not been baled. It's, it's got to be below 16% I think they said to bail it really and it's about between 18 and 20 percent some of it and it's what's had uh, a bit of black grass in which obviously is a weed that grows quite prolific around here but we managed to keep it fairly under control but yeah it's just yeah so yeah so we haven't managed to bail that so hopefully it's not going to rain too much and it'll dry out and we can have it bailed and <laughs> stacked up in the shed. We use a lot of straw on our farm because we have um, stables. Um, we probably go through a full bale of straw a day in winter. At least, yeah, in winter, yeah. Um, so so we're, we're in, it's in high yeah. demand, so I'm hoping it's good quality because I sometimes work on the horse yard and, um, and it's just horrible when the straw is bad because it's really it's difficult to shake out. So we're hoping that it's going to be nice and fluffy and it's going to be easy to work with. Um, so yeah. Uh, better crack on with some of the um, the what is it stacking on the thingy. Loading. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, Sarah's going to be driving back, so you'll get to watch her oh, driving. Oh, am I well. driving? You can do. We don't tip them off a bit off the trailer. Okay, so they're in a they're in a big heap at the moment, so we're going to go and grab them off the heap and then put them onto the trailer. So I'm <clears throat> heading out to go and throw some straw up. Well, move it around so it uh, it can dry a bit better. But look at this beast I've had to go on. The old classic. We are go. It looks fairly flat as this straw, doesn't it? When you look at it from here. It's actually a heck of a lot more uh, straw than it actually looks like. Um, we've taken it. We're doing this just to try and get uh, any moisture that's in it just to help it dry out, move it from sort of the area it's sat on as well, because that could be quite a damp area. Just move it across a little bit. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed it works and we'll get the balers here out of today, tomorrow. Morning, right, so we're waiting on the balers still. So I'm going to get swapped over with my tracks because it's on the corn cart at the moment, so I need to put it on the straw trailer. So today, I mean that thankfully, not that rickety old blue thing. <laughs>
just heading down for our last load of barley for now. Like I said, they didn't bail it all, so I think they've left about maybe 20 acres, 15 acres probably. So it's not a big problem really. It uh, just needs another, probably another day or so to dry. So we'll get them in hopefully the next day too. Might have to uh, turn the straw again like we did uh, did yesterday. Just to help it dry that a little bit more. So I've got my little friend with me again, Ellie. She's uh, she, just, she has to go everywhere with me. She's uh, she's pretty obsessed with this little farming malarkey. So right, we'll get these last ones. I think there's about 56 left. Do 50 on a load, uh, 40 on a load. Um, so Dad will probably pop down and get the last last load after we've got this one and I'm going to take the trailer back to a guy that we just uh, borrowed well borrowed the red trailer off uh, a chap just down the road from us that does our spraying so thanks to him um, so yeah get these ones loaded and home for tea right well that's us done for the evening so it's 8 o'clock so we're going to go get some tea now my mother-in-law's done me a, a lovely chicken dinner so I'm going to go eat that now so I'll let say goodbye from me and Ellie. She's there somewhere. So yeah. See you later.